All right, we're here at my tiny DIY worm bin, and it has been about four and a half days since we were in here last, and that is because we are gonna check the broccoli that we put in here. We're gonna check both, is there any odor, and then which cut worked better, the strips or the discs, and right away, I don't smell anything. All it smells is a forest floor, just normal worm bin, no odor, so that's good. And if that broccoli's all gone, we're gonna give them a special feeding which is these absolutely pulverized broccoli and kale leaves from our juicer. So let's go ahead and dig right in. Actually, before that, I'm gonna take some of this top stuff off. And if we feed, I'm gonna try and remember to put that in. So on this side, I believe were the strips, and on this side were the discs, and right in the middle was that burlap sack. So I'm gonna just try and go real deep to try and get to it and see how they're doing. All right, so somewhere in here is possibly a strip of broccoli. And I'm seeing some of the bedding. And okay, right there, we've get, we're getting our first look at how it's doing. A little bit of mites on it, but the whole reason I am in here so quick is because I got a comment from AV who said, hey, you may want to check on those quickly because the broccoli kind of goes fast and sure enough this has only been four and a half days and they are all in it. I mean you can see a worm has made its way through the skin into the broccoli. So let's now try and find a disc over here and we'll see if it it is further along than what we see out of that broccoli. So let's kind of go in here and you can see some of the bedding right there. But whoa, okay, look at that. This, I think, was the disc. Here is the round part, and in between it would have been all the flesh, and I don't see that. I see a little bit of flesh on this one. Maybe that was connected, but I would say those discs had a better chance of getting eaten, so maybe that's because they had more of the fleshy surface area than this long one here, but they were the same volume, the same amount on both sides, but it looks like the disc went first. So let's go ahead and get to that burlap sack and see how they did inside of that. Now, something I'm finding out about this burlap sack is <laughs> it's useful in worm bins, not necessarily to break down, but to put over the top. I've had a lot of commenters say they put it over the top of their worm bins and it doesn't degrade very fast. So we may be in for a long haul with this burlap sack. And here, sure enough, is two more of the strips of broccoli. So I don't feel much inside of here, so I think they probably ate what was in there. So I'm going to give you all a sneak peek first. And I don't know if you can see inside there, but let me look. And I see, I think, the strip. And yeah, so same kind of thing. The strip, it looks like it's more intact then the disc, and there's still a little bit more in here. Let me get to it. So I would say those discs did much better than cutting it in strips. So there we go. All right, I'm gonna put this stuff in here, and I think because of how far along this is, I think we can feed this, and I'm just gonna put all, this, all the little strips that I see into here. I think we can feed this again especially since what I'm gonna put in is all that pulverized juicing material. So let me just kind of mix it up a little bit, not too much. This is a quick feeding and I've been in here four and a half days ago, so I'm not too worried about it. The bedding is looking good, they're attacking it, so happy there. I do feel it a little bit matted down down here, so I'm just gonna pull what's on bottom and put it on top. All right. Here we go. Moisture is like absolute perfection. Feels like a wrung out sponge. And things are looking good. Okay, let's go ahead and set up a feeding zone. I'm just going to put this out of the way, but I'll put it back in. Lots of worms all over. I'm sure you've been seeing them. But the objective here is to check on the broccoli and put another feeding in. I love seeing these worms. They're all throughout. Just absolutely a joy. And now this bin, you can see how small it is. I mean, this is a three-gallon bin, absolutely tiny. And they're not real expensive if this is something that you're looking for. I've got some affiliate links if you want to check on it. But this bin is small, which means that parameters can kind of get out of whack, as you saw with pot worms and mites. But if you make sure you don't overfeed or get too much moisture in it, these things do fantastic. In fact, I love them because they're great for like an RV or a classroom, that kind of thing. 
or you know just a one or two person household. So here is the juicing material and it is just absolutely pulverized or blitzed and it's most of the fiber. I probably should be eating this fiber, but we like to juice. And it is just, the worms absolutely destroy this. They go through it like crazy. So for an early worm bin, let's say you just started a worm bin, you've got maybe you know 100 to 500 worms, blending it up like this or you know straight out of your juicer is ideal. This right here is a little piece of baby bok choy that we have from the garden, a lettuce stalk. Both of these should go really quick. Certainly a carrot, I think. Actually, that looks like a sweet potato, which I've actually noticed is somewhere between a fast and slow food. We'll get a tomato, another little bit of sweet potato, and then this right here. This is a pretty big feeding, so we're not going to check on this for a little while, at least seven days. But let's go ahead and put some of that bedding which I meant to put on the bottom, which I didn't. We'll put this back in here. We'll put the previous bedding in there and I'll just kind of put it on top. And I'm gonna put our coffee in. I don't think I need a whole bunch. And that's just more food for them. And then here is some pulverized eggshells, which I use for grit. And then here's the bedding, which is just a blended drink tray like you would get at a fast food place if you got more than one drink. And I put it in the little blender and blends it all up. But I'm going to be using that bedding from here on out. And I meant to put it underneath because then when this stuff thaws and all that kind of stuff, it gets this wet. But but there we go. We'll go ahead and bury it up and that'll make sure I put that newspaper on here. The other thing that I noticed now that we're talking about bedding is I had put some tea bags in here and I don't see any of them. In fact, I haven't seen them in a while. So they ate the tea bags, the tea, and the little strings that had look like they had been in there for a while. So that was good. And this is the tea that I had used. So I don't think all tea bags will decompose like that, but this one did. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and hit like. And if you want to subscribe so you can see when I put more videos out. And I've got two other bins.